Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be learning about functions. So what I want you to do in box number two of your homework sheet, we're going to be going through a few new vocabulary words. I'd like you to copy the words and their meanings into box two. What is a function? A function is a mathematical relationship that's shared between two sets of numbers. And we'll look at some examples of those in just a moment. What is a rule? A rule describes the relationship. It's the explanation of what's happening in those two sets of numbers. So please take a moment and write those into section two of your homework sheet right now. Let's get into our first example. What we have here is called a function table. And it's a table set up of different sets of numbers. We have our input numbers and our output numbers. I like to think of function tables as a sort of machine, as a function machine. We put our input numbers into the machine, something's done to them, they're mixed all around, something's done mathematically to them, and then they pop out of our machine looking a little different. And our challenge, our job, is to figure out the rule, what has happened to them as they're in this function machine. So let's take a look at our first example. Our first number of input is the number two. We put it into our function machine and it comes out looking like a number 12. So we have to ask ourselves, what is done to two to make it become 12. Now we notice that to get from 2 to 12 we have to go up. And to get up mathematically you're either doing addition or multiplication most of the time. So for this instance I'm going to choose multiplication and I'm going to ask myself what do you have to do to, to 2 to make it 12 using multiplication? And I know that to get from 2 to 12 I have to multiply by 6. So I'm going to go ahead and make a little note of that on my function table. Now we move on to the next row. 3 is the number that I put into my machine. It's my input and it popped out an 18. So what do you have to do to 3 to make it 18? Well, we also have to multiply by 6. So now I'm seeing sort of a pattern start. Let's look at our next one. To get from 4 to 24, we also have to multiply by 6. And the same thing for our next number. To get from 5 to 30, we also multiply by 6. So now it is clear to see that the rule for this partic particular function table is multiply by 6 or times 6. So now that we know that, we can continue and extend our table even further. So what I've noticed is my input numbers what is happening each time to my input numbers? And if you look closely, you can see that they are increasing or going up by one. So if I have two, three, four, five, using my mathematical skills, I can assume that number six would be next on my input side because each number goes up by one each time. Let's take a look at my output side. You can also notice a relationship happening between these numbers. What is happening from 12 to 18 to 24 to 30? Well, they're going up by 6 each time. So you can use that relationship to fill in this blank, or you can use your rule that we figured out earlier. We know that our rule is times 6, so we take our input of 6, we multiply it by 6, and we get 36 as our output. So we've now completed our function table, and we've also determined what our rule is for this particular problem. Now this is a one-step function table where we're only doing one operation. We're only doing one type of math to the inputs to get the outputs. Let's look at a little more challenging example, two-step function tables. This one's a little bit tricky. Let's take a look at what we have here. We have one, two, three, and four as our input numbers. And then we need to look at the relationship or how we get from our input to our output. We have to see what's happening to these numbers. So I put a 1 into my machine and it pops out a 3. So there are a few different types of math that I can do that will sh get me from 1 to 3. We know that the number is going up, so it's most likely either going to be multiplication or addition. So I'm going to start with, let's start with addition. Okay, how do we get from 1 to 3? Well, we have to add now let's see if that happens in the same sort of way with the next line. How do we get from 2 to 5? We add 3. Well, I'm not 
seeing any sort of relationship there. So I'm going to try something a little different. And we're going to go ahead and erase, and that's why you have erasers on your pencil, because a lot of what function tables are, a lot of it is guess and check. You're guessing to see what's happening in your relationship, and then you're checking to see if that's the right answer. All right, so to get from one to three, another way that I can get there is I can multiply. If I multiply by three, it's true, I will get three. But then if I try to multiply two by three, am I going to get five? No. But possibly there might be something else that I could do. Let's try multiplying by two. One times two is not going to give me three. But if I add on one more, one times two equals two plus one, that will give me three. So let's try this and see if this works out. Two times two is four plus one equals five. Let's try it again. Three times two equals six plus one equals seven. So it seems to me that the rule of times two plus one works for this particular function table. So boys and girls, sometimes it's not as simple as just one step. Sometimes you might have to do more than one step. So knowing that times two plus one is the rule, we have four times two plus one, what would my output be for this example? We take four times two, which is eight, plus one gives me nine. And now I've completed that function table. All right, it's time for you to try some on your own. I have two tables here that I've written for you, and what I would like you to do is write the rule so what is happening to the inputs to get our outputs? What's happening to the numbers when they're thrown into that machine? And I'd also like you to complete the blanks in the table as well. So please copy these examples into box number three of your homework sheet. Write the rule and complete the table. And for number three, I would also like you to create your very own function table and to write the rule of what your table is. All right, good luck on that. And as always, boys and girls, if you still have any questions about functions or you have any comments or strategies you use to help you solve these problems, please make sure to put them in box number four of your homework sheet, and we'll discuss them in class tomorrow. You've been Flipped with Mrs. Manafa.